Hi, this is Freya with another singing tip and today I want to give you a great exercise to help you with your transition between chest and head voice, so stay tuned. I know it is a struggle, it is an ongoing battle trying to deal with the passaggio, which means the era in which you transition from one register to the next and to sing in a way that it's not obvious that you are transitioning. You don't want your audience to hear that break. and You don't want to sound like a totally different singer. You don't want to sound in your chest voice like one person and then when you transition into your head voice you sound like a totally different person or you sound like a different genre. So let me give you one exercise that I think is really great to really work on that point where you want to break to where it doesn't flip and that's that's the uncomfortable point when that flips, you know, that yeah, that you don't want that to happen because in that moment, whenever it flips, it's like you don't have any control unless you want to yodel, then you want that flip to happen. It feels very uncomfortable. So let me give you one exercise. Let's just use one pitch to the next. So it's just a whole tone step up and down, up and down. Now let's do it in a way to make the break very obvious on purpose. Sing the lower pitch in heavy chest voice and sing the upper pitch in like really strong head voice and do that flip on purpose. You will see what happens. Be conscious of it. Yeah. I even have to get higher. It's more obvious then. hard to control your voice in that moment. So that was very abrupt. Let's try now to stay just a little bit lighter in your chest voice and then also transition into a head voice that's not quite as oh but more a little bit lighter. It is head voice mechanism but it's not very open up. It's a little bit more relaxed like this. Not necessarily breathy, but more like just relax, just more in a natural sound as if you were speaking hi, like so, but not so. And the, the bottom pitch, don't go like very loud, don't go yeah, but go yeah, this is also chest voice, I can feel it, this chest voice. And then the top note is head voice, but it's not very heavy and the bottom is chest voice again. So stay kind of light, but try to change registers each time. Upper pitch head voice, lower pitch chest voice. Now, don't just step up and down, but slide up and down. That way you notice how you do that to transition. See, it doesn't flip that much anymore when you back off just a little bit. And for me, that is the biggest secret to not be very extremely heavy because whenever you're heavy, you're gonna have an abrupt change in registers whenever you transition. That is just the nature of because you are locked in, you're really holding it in that position. And then whenever it wants to go into this different position of the different register, it has to switch over, it has to flip because it's sudden. So you don't want it to happen that suddenly and you don't want to sing that heavily. If you do sing heavily, then you have to expect that there is a harsh break and that you have to react very quickly. But it is a lot easier when you just back off just a little bit. So singing a scale from top to bottom, try that. It's like I'm starting in head voice and then I'm going down and I'm gonna end up in chest voice but since I'm not singing very heavily on the top and also don't go into a very heavy chest voice I can't really feel a break happening. The transition is very smooth. So I started in head voice, ended in chest voice but there wasn't really any flip happening. Try that and I hope this helps you. Stay lighter and be aware of your break and sing smart. Thanks for watching today. Don't forget to tune in next week. And if you have not already, join my Facebook group, Master Your Voice. It's great 
people there are having great conversations. I'm in there all the time and I would love to see you there. See you soon. And don't forget, always keep a song in your heart and always keep on singing. Bye.